We're back, people, and today we're breaking down film on Braxton Berrios, newest Miami Dolphins wide receiver, and where he really brings value to the team as is as a returner, kick returner, punt returner. He's been one of the best in the league at that, and he does a really good job helping with field position, which is super important in the NFL. Really helps out the Dolphins' high-tier, high-flying offense when they can have good field position. So that's where Berrios is going to make the biggest impact. And then as a receiver... He's going to come in. He's got good play speed and yak ability. That's where he's really different than Sherfield. He's going to come in pretty much for play Sherfield. I feel he won't play as much because Sherfield is more of the wide receiver three. I think Barrios will be more of like a wide receiver four slash five for the team. But that play speed, yak ability. And then I think he helps with the timing of the offense. When he comes in, Dolphins offense really relies on timing and when you have a lot of fast speed guys you want your backups to play with a similar play speed so the timing can be very similar especially when Barrios will probably come in and be running a lot of clear out routes down the field helping uh, you know this offense open things up for Hill Waddle if he's in with one of them so yeah I really do like this signing mostly as a special teams but he still will make an impact on the offense so yeah quality pickup you know as a cheap guy get him in the slot very good player in those scenarios, mostly as a special teams guy. So yeah, I like the Barrios signing. Start with this play, we got Barrios aligned in as a tight, condensed slot right here. He was gonna, you know, chip down and block one of the defensive ends, but this guy drops down out into the coverage, so he has nothing to block. So he just quickly finds the space, you know, on the rollout. He times this pretty much perfectly with the play action boot. He sees nothing here, so he just sort of sits, finds this open spot in the zone, gets his head turned around, makes himself an easy target for the quarterback. And then once he catches it, you can see off his acceleration, play speed, make a guy miss, showing off, you know, a little bit of yards after catchability, which is going to be very important for the Dolphins offense. Just another, you know, quality that Barrios will bring to the team. Dolphins like to rotate the receiver, so even if he's like wide receiver four, wide receiver five, he will still see the field. And you got to be able to make plays like this. Dolphins do like to run some play action boot, get the ball out into, the, you know, the flats quickly, type plays kind of like this. So this is just another area where Barrios fits the team very well. Barrios in the bunch right here running the wheel route down the sideline just really impressive tempo to acceleration right here he starts off with a little bit of a slower tempo allowing the routes to sort of you know develop in front of him the two bunches getting off the line of scrimmage here let them release and then once he sees the flat defender here getting picked he instantly accelerates gets past him and they show some fearlessness competitive toughness to make this catch where he could possibly take a big hit from a corner he's really got leaving his body wide open here putting it on for the team so impressive play he doesn't have the biggest catch radius either you're going to see him make too many plays down the field but with his speed acceleration like this is third and ten situation so very clutch play too as well from Berrios. Berrios better routes when he gets aligned in the slot and he's running just like a deeper out route he does a really good job of stemming these out he's getting you know matched up in the slot versus this corner right here and he just stems this corner inside leverage hard this corner's playing inside leverage and he just gives this hard stem to the inside manipulates the leverage now restems vertically and just creates this natural separation by dictating the leverage of the corner and then makes a nice catch below you know below the frame here catches it in balance showing off some uh field awareness too he's a very instinctive player i would say like especially like, if you saw him in the return game he has very good vision he sees the field well too when he's receiving Barrios loves to work the flat here he is in the slot again we get to see him work through some physical contact here, which I think is very important as a slot receiver. If you're going to be a slot, it's an uh, underrated aspect of your ability to get through contact. And Barrios does a really good job fighting through that, getting out into his spot right here. He does a great job of just bending this out. No wasted movement either. Very quick transitions. He's got that low center of gravity, very small player. But he catches this and instantly turns up field. Look how quickly he uh, transitions up field after the catch and then stays in bounds dives for the pylon he has a nose for the end zone like he doesn't get a bunch of touches but when he gets his touches a lot of times they end up being touchdowns down in the red zone separation is important and Barrios can get you that Barrios again in the slot working the out route he doesn't really give too much with like a savvy nuanced approach he just quickly identifies man to man knows that he's going to have space to the outside and he just instantly takes it you can see the how quick his feet are moving so fast he has a very high step frequency acceleration Wasting no time getting out of the flat like he's shown a lot on the film like he likes to mix things up so he just quickly gets out to it this time and then the finish is what really impressive tracking it all the way through toe drag get two feet in bounce situational field awareness on the sideline love when a wide receiver knows exactly where he is this shows good instincts uh, some high that's a pretty high level play to finish right there from Barrios. just saw Barrios work the sideline we've seen him work the sideline a couple times now this one another impressive play but instead of being like a out route that's like 10 yards on the field we get to see a deep corner uh working this two-man concept to this side 
attacking, you know, this cover two. They're showing like a cover three look pre-snap. Turns into a cover two. He catches this, tracks this in perfectly, going to take a hit, and then gets basically deadens his feet to get two feet in bounds. Knows exactly where he is on the field. Amazing play. He also wastes no time getting into his route here. He avoids the reroute by, you know, using some hand fighting, dipping his shoulder, quickly getting out to his landmark. As a slot receiver, you got to be able to avoid these reroutes or work through the contact. He does a great job of that. Just, uh, he does some nuanced things very well, like finishing on the sideline. And he's going to be like your wide receiver four, five. That's, you know, as much as you can ask for a type of guy like that. So I do like this signing as a cheap option, getting him out there, you know, not playing too many snaps, probably like 20 snaps a game, but he can still make an impact for you. Here, Berrios is running a return route. They love to get him working on some bunches, which you will definitely see from time to time the Dolphins running these types of looks. But this return route, setting this up to the outside, this is like an opposite of like the whip route. He returns back to the inside. He does a great job setting this up with good pace, leverage. He skips it to the outside. This is a fourth down situation too, so a big time situation. You got to be able to create the separation of man-to-man -man coverage and his ability to sink those hips. Look how his lower body flexion here. He just changes direction so quickly, smoothly, and then gets the ball out of his hands. Fourth down situation, big time conversion for the team there. Uh, another area where I like Barrios is, you know, on those, you know, high change of direction type of routes. Another area where I see a positive of Barrios games in the receiving game is in scramble drill. He does a great job of working with your quarterback. He's just sort of setting this out, getting to the outside here. Once Darnold escapes the pocket, he works with him. Gets back to the outside, snaps this back. He has such a great feel for this. Like, he's watching Darnold just do his stuff in the pocket right now. And once he breaks this, he's in man-to-man. -man. He knows this guy's man-to-man. -man. He knows sees Darnold starting to escape to the right. So he gets a little bit back to the left here. Possibly thinking he can work to the inside. But now once he really sees Darnold escape, he's almost like setting up this linebacker right here to just instantly change directions back to the outside. Great feel instincts in this area and then a good job catching you know these slightly inaccurate passes last play that i'm gonna break down we got barrios in the slot again working scramble drill uh darnold escapes the pocket he sees him working to the outside and he just has such a good feel for this like he's already as far you can be to the outside rolling to the left you like usually you want to roll with your quarterback but barris is far outside as you can be so he knows he can go to the inside a little bit and he times this perfectly with the quarterback seeing this like Everything, this is all about timing, and Barrows has a great job just feeling exactly what the quarterback is thinking, gets the inside, catches this in stride, he does a really good job of tracking these things through and maintaining his acceleration through the catch point so that he can finish this for a touchdown. Another excellent play from Barrios. Lots of positives to take away from his game. He's on the smaller side, he's not the biggest or the strongest player, he has some struggles with catch radius, those types of things, but... Uh, the ability after catch, his play speed, acceleration, I think he fits well into the offense. He's not like your exact Trent Sherfield replacement because he's not going to be that, like, that type of blocker Sherfield was. But the returnability is probably the biggest key to his game. And then fitting him in to this offense, uh, I think wide receiver five, he's like a very nice wide, rec wide, rec wide receiver five to have on the team. So if you guys are into the video, make sure to like, comment, subscribe, and I'll see you guys in the next video.